In this episode of Alleycat University, we will take you through the steps needed to connect your Alleycat device with your computer serial port and conduct basic functions through the serial terminal program. Things you will need. Your Alleycat device, a computer with a serial port and an active internet connection, a serial communications cable called the MD8DB9, an AC to DC power supply such as Alleycat's PVPS24U, Many computers these days don't come equipped with serial ports. In their place, an RS-232 to USB converter can be used, such as the Belkin F5U409, pictured here. First, plug in your power supply to the AC wall outlet. Now place the power plug into the top of your Alleycat device. Next, let's verify the communication settings by using the front panel buttons to navigate to the COM RS-232 menu. Verify the following parameters, the unit ID, the baud rate, and the data rate. Press the button labeled Main to return to the main screen. Using your MD8DB9 cable, plug the D subside of the cable into an available serial port on the back of your computer. If your computer is not equipped with a serial port, you can use the USB to serial adapter to make the connection. First, plug in the USB side of it to the computer. At this point, you may need to install drivers in order to support the USB adapter. Now, take the other end of the adapter and plug in your MD8DB9 cable on the D sub side. Secure it using the two screws. Finally, Take the 8-pin mini-DIN side of the cable and plug it into the top of your alley cat. Now that all the physical connections are made between your alley cat device and your computer, we need to download the appropriate communication software from the alley cat website. Navigate to www.alleycatscientific.com. Once there, click on the support link. Then, scroll down and click on the software link. Now. Download the Serial Terminal program to your computer. With the Serial Terminal program unzipped to the location of your choice, execute the file and note first that the program will ask you for the COM port number that is being used by this connection. Type in this number, followed by the Enter key. In our example, the COM port is number 1. Because we have already confirmed our unit identifier as being the letter A for this unit, Simply type the letter A followed by the Enter key. You can now repeat these keystrokes and receive a line of data each time A Enter is typed. If you are unable to locate a functioning COM port on your computer, you can download a simple program to help diagnose the problem. Navigate once more to Alleycat's software page and click on the software link for the COM port troubleshooter. Here is how the program works. Once executed, you will be presented with a listing of available ports by number. Then, simply enter which port number you'd like to test, the unit ID of the Alleycat device, and a wait time in milliseconds. 100 milliseconds is a good starting point. Continue testing each port until you receive back a line of data from your Alleycat device. Note which port had a successful communication and use this number for your serial terminal setup, as described earlier in this video. This concludes our basic serial communications tutorial. If you have any further questions on this topic, don't hesitate to ask us via phone or email using the contact information shown at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.